In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the HTML style attribute to create inline styles in your HTML. And right after I teach you how to do it, I'm going to tell you to never do it again. And instead of using inline styles, use CSS instead because that's future proof, that's easier to develop with, and easier to maintain. And we're getting started right now. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from Higher Learning Lab, where we help you get better at coding so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, or for your business. If it's your first time here, make sure you click on the subscribe button and then click on the bell notification icon so you're notified when we publish more awesome tutorials for you. And with that out of the way, let's get into the screen capture of this tutorial. I'll see you there. We have a basic HTML page created up here and it renders in a browser like we see right here. And we have a paragraph tag. I'm going to add a style to it. So style equals open and close quotations. And we're going to define a style. You can define any CSS rule you like inside the style attribute. So I'm going to change the color to blue. Save that, refresh this page, and now our color, everything inside the paragraph tag is blue except for this link because it has different styles. We can force it to be blue by adding the style attribute here as well. Color equals blue or color colon blue. Now the link is blue. We can make the link red. Now only the link will appear red. Everything else is blue. We can change just the font size of the link to 30 pixels. So only the fonts or if only the link is big. So using this style attribute, we can change a lot of styles on the page. We can add other ones. So for example, we can add a span tag. Here, let me just wrap this in the span and we add style and let's call this uh, stick with the color, color green. Refresh the page. Now this is green. So that's inline CSS. Now that's great for development, like I said, but you want to make sure that you get this out of your inline CSS and into regular style tags or a style sheet. So to do that really quickly, all we do is make a style tag up here. Style type is this, closing style tag. And then we can just copy and paste this rule up to here. I'm gonna call this P and the P color is blue. Then we can delete the style attribute, save this page and we'll see that nothing changes because it's this exact same, means the same thing. For the span tag, take out this color and we can say span curly brackets. Define that as the color green. Save it, refresh this page, it's still green, just like we said. Take the uh, styles out of here for the link, call this A, open and close curly brackets. Paste that information in there and now everything's the same. But now it's so much easier to edit because you have it all up here. And one thing to note is this works where I just have P, span, and A because I only have one of each element on the page. If you have multiple of each and you wanted to find certain ones to be different from others, you're going to have to use, use classes and IDs. And I have some other tutorials on this channel that I help you with that. I'll link to them down below in the description as well. So I hope this video helps you. That's how easy it is to create inline styles using the HTML style attribute. And like I said, it's better to keep your CSS in the CSS styles tag in the header or in a CSS style sheet. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, click on the subscribe button, then click on the bell notification icon so you're notified when we publish more awesome content, and then click on that card that just appeared in the top right of this video for some awesome resources. And until next time, keep crushing it, and I will see you in the next video.